Beauty What's up everyone? It is your girl JL Beauty 87 here aka Grace It's time for another underrated versus overrated eyeshadow review So this is I think like my 5th or 6th installment of this I'm pretty sure but you know I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about So I tried to spread it out because y'all knew me I'm a talk a long time It's still like a box over there with like half a set of products in it that I just I'm not going to try to get to tonight because it's too much because I've already filmed like three of these tonight. So, it's a lot. But, yeah. So, let's get to it. What is this weird brush? I don't know. Anyway. So, overrated versus underrated. So, these are eyeshadow primers. So, I have the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer alongside the Dominique Everlasting Eye Base 24 Hour Crease proof eyeshadow primer so i feel like this primer is just as good as this one but because it's hourglass it gets hyped up i know dominique's brand has a lot of like neutral eyeshadow palettes and whatnot so i don't know if that's why it hasn't been getting as hyped as it used to get but i definitely feel like this eyeshadow primer is just as good as this one and um let me see kirsten's has 12 grams in it and this one says it has 0 0.32 fluid ounces in it so I feel like you get more in Kirsten's than you get in this one. Don't quote me. Not 100 percent sure. Man, this is not my strong suit. But um, I feel like this eyeshadow primer is just as nice in this one. And I think you should go ahead and just support Kirsten's. Get hers over the hourglass one. That's just my opinion because it seems like you get more in this one. And of course, Kirsten's brand is in luxury, so it's going to be a better price. And since they both do the same thing anyway, might not support a Latino small own business as opposed to a corporation who takes five years to come up with a face palette for people who are lighter than um, medium just because you know they can't and the only reason they did that was because the people that they were making for told them that they need to stop and that they weren't gonna buy it either. that's when you saw a change so it speaks volumes about the morals of that brand versus Kirsten's brand as well and I look at that type of stuff when I buy makeup I know some people don't but I do so this is my channel and my opinions I'm giving you that's gonna fall into play as well next I have a couple of Charlotte Tilbury palettes to compare to some Sigma palettes believe it or not so first one we have is the Pillow Talk versus Corderosa from Sigma Beauty now I'm not trying to say the formula on these are the same I'm saying the color story is the same and I like the color stories of Sigma ones a little bit better plus the Sigma price point is better and I feel like they have more punchy like vibrant colors if you all know then you know Charlotte Tilbury sorry Charlotte Tilbury I feel like her colors um don't really pick up that well they're like soft washes of color and i just prefer more pigmented shadows so that's another reason i would pick the sigma ones over them so it has nothing to do with quality it has to do with preference when it comes to color but see what i'm saying like i feel like this one looks pretty similar to it and it gives more a vibrant color to it when you put it on the eye whereas this one has a lot of tones i can't use this one does have some tones i can't use but i feel like there's more in the charlotte tilbury i can't use than this one because of her having soft pigmentation to her eyeshadows when you put them on so i prefer the sigma one and i feel like a lot of sigma eyeshadow palettes are underrated i feel like corderosa might be their most popular like overly rated or at least like noticed palette out of all the palettes they have but i just have a tendency to notice that if it's not um a brand that people um get pr from they don't usually go out and buy Sigma palettes or showcase Sigma palettes, at least in my opinion. So I feel like the Sigma palette is a great palette. You can use someone's code to get a discount on it. And it's going to give more punchier um, colors than the Charlotte Tilbury will. So that's why I wanted to put it in here because I feel like it's just an underrated brand. I know a lot of people look at them for brushes and like brush cleaner, but they do have more to offer. Like I have on their... Um, soft focus setting pattern right now underneath the eyes and all over my face so they have a lots of great things to offer it's just a question of people necessarily um buying them because you know they're really just known for brushes or i feel like they've been trying to get known for more they were known for more for a little bit and then they went back to being known just for brushes so i wanted to put the word out so that's why we're going to do the second set of palettes too this is the what is it instant eyes smoky eyes are forever palette this was actually the holiday palette for 2021 alongside the untamed palette and this palette is actually on sale on their website for like 29 bucks and then i think you can use the influencer code and get it for even cheaper so you can get this one at a steal now the colors in here aren't exact just like the last palette but i feel like they're close enough to where you can you know count it as similar and i like the color story of the sigma one better just because i feel like there's more tones in it i can use than this one so here's what they look like side by side as you can see like i said they aren't exact you see there's a blue in here there's clearly not a blue in here but it does have a lot of the green and the reddish type moments to it and then like the neutral tones to it with just like a pop of blue if you will so the form on this is really nice i'm not saying that it's just 
like I say, I feel like the pigmentation is always lacking when it comes to her. You get more soft washes of color, and I'm not a person who's huge on a soft wash of color. So that's why I prefer the Sigma palettes, because they're going to give more color and pigmentation. They're going to give you a better price point. And it's not like they're giving you a bad formula. Now, it's not going to be Charlotte's Tilbury formula, but it's going to be a pretty good formula. And the fact that this is on sale for like um, 29 bucks. I think it's twenty nine forty, and then you can get an extra. I think it's ten or fifteen percent in some of her clothes. Are you can use cold cage makeup to buy this and the Corderosa one, and I think that you will be pleasantly surprised in the formula. But again, like I said, I'm not saying that it's the same as Charlotte Tilbury, so don't take that from this video or from this message of me showing you that. I'm just saying it's a good alternative as far as color story and the fact that there's going to be more pigmentation in the Sigma ones. If you want that similar color story, then there will be in the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Because luxury brands tend to give you like more lighter washes of color. I want more pigmented color. So the next, I actually have a couple of palettes to compare to these palettes. So let me get into those. So y'all know Kaleidos came out with the little miniature palette. So I have a couple of palettes to shout out. So first of all, the um, overrated versus underrated is the Bronze Bliss from Pat McGrath. Alongside this, um, I forgot the name of this one. I think it's called um, Jasmine something. I threw the box away, so I don't know. The new ones have the sticker on the back, so they take notice when you mention things to them. But um, this one is just somewhat similar to it. As you can see, it has more bronzy tones to it, but it does have that champagne and gold that I feel like could be similar to this. So I feel like this is an overrated palette. I know Morgan Turner raves about it, but I actually like the Kaleidos one better than I like this. And y'all know I love Mother, but I'm just not feeling the satin mattes. I feel like the pigmentation isn't giving the way the Kaleidos one is giving. So I would pick the Kaleidos one over this one. That's why I said this one's overrated for what it is, especially with the price point Mother is charged for these. Like, I personally don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's a cheap for it being a Pat McGrath palette, but it, it just isn't giving for me. The next one I think is overrated versus underrated is the Natasha Denona Mini Xenon palette. So, again, this one is more spot on. I've actually done a video comparing this palette to this palette and did a battle of love for you all to see. I don't think it did that well, though, because this palette came out so long ago that people didn't care as much. But I did it because I have both of them, and I figured somebody might actually be interested in care. So... This is what they look like side by side. And this one has more of the true um, color story to match this one. But again, like, they both do the same thing. And the fact that you can get this one for cheaper and use the influencer code as opposed to, say, $27. My whole thing is just with this one, be prepared to wait. Because this is a China-based brand. So it has to come from China to America to get to you. And Natasha Denona comes a little bit faster because you can buy it, go into Sephora and pick it up. So it just depends on your preference when it comes to that regard. But I feel like the metallic... Shimmery shade here does a million times better than this one. And the mattes in here are just as nice as Natasha's. And you can get it for a cheaper price point because um, it's an indie brand that has influencer codes. So I think Karen still has a code with them. It's Cage Makeup most likely. So you can check that out. But I just thought that these were a little underrated for what they were. So I thought I'd shout them out. So I have the other one as well. It's more of a neutral one. And we're going to put it up against Natasha again. So I have it against the Natasha Denona Mini Glam and Natasha Denona Baby Glam. And I forgot the name of this. I think it's called Coffee Brew. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And as you can see, it looks really similar to the um, Natasha Denona Mini Glam palette as far as the colors go. So I feel like it has a deeper a version of the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette which works out better for some of my skin tone obviously because that's the deepest shade in here and although that would work for my outer V I feel like this one's a tad bit deeper which would help with what I would need so that's what they look like I'm going to show you the mini, the Baby Glam now I don't feel like the Baby Glam is exact but since I had both of them here y'all know the drill I'm here you're here we're all here so I was like I'll just go ahead and show it but as you can see this one has a little bit more of coolness going on to it and to me, this is a little bit mixture of warm and cool. But I still want to show them side by side so you can see. I feel like if you take out the um, darker brown matte, this would probably look more like this one than you think. But that's what they look like side by side. And those are the two that I have to compare to this Kaleidos palette. So put my palettes back to where they go. So those stay here. And this stays here. So I leave all the baby Natasha and all the palettes here. So I have something by Natasha to down to compare here because I don't leave any of the bigger palettes here so next um this is not to shade this brand by any means I actually have on the lipstick from this collection I'm about to show you now if you all remember in the Scooby-Doo collection they didn't send me this lipstick I reached out and told them about it and they actually I guess express shipped it because I I sent them the message about it Tuesday and I got the lipstick today which is Thursday so they were quick on the job 
but this is the overrated versus underrated so i actually slipped them around because i feel like since bean is what made this color story really popular i don't feel like it's overrated by any means but i feel like because they tag scooby-doo on it and you know they they're a really popular brand and they kind of fumbled the bag when they did come out with this palette because it took forever to ship to everybody it kind of like you know made left bad taste people mouths when it came to this palette but i definitely feel like um this one is a little bit overrated because it's like i feel like it's just a copy and paste of this palette not to be bogus and i love glam light i buy i bought from glam light from years so it's not like i have an issue with glam light it's just i feel like it's just, just a copy of betty jean's palette so i'd rather just say you know go buy the betty jean one while you can still get it because i really like the color store and i've actually used this one quite a bit i've used this one a little bit but i don't like the fact that the shimmers are kind of deep and then like the um um, I feel like they're really glittery as well. I like the um, metallic sheen on um, Betty Jean's palette more than I do with this palette. So that's why I say I feel like this one's overrated. So even though it's cheaper, I just prefer the one from Cheryl. Plus, I think it's just because I'm a huge Betty Jean fan. And I watch a lot of her videos and stuff. And I feel like she put her and soul into making the colors um, palette. I feel like it was only right that I would shout hers out as the um, underrated one because of the issues that they had with the collab initially and how long it took to get to people a lot of people said they weren't even gonna buy from the brand anymore so i just wanted to shout out her palette and you know give an acknowledgement and show you that there is another option out there just in case you can't afford this one because this one's only 20 bucks and i think betty jeans is like 38 or 40 something like that so if you want uh, a different price point to choose from then you have this one but i feel like this one's overrated and they just text could be doing it and betty jean put her heart and soul into it so there you go next palette please okay y'all this one seems to be a lot shorter we're on to the last two palettes okay so it's not to say that this palette is overrated compared to the other palette it's just i feel like a lot of times this brand gets a lot more attention than this other brand does and i wanted you all to remember that this palette exists because the other palette i'm about to show you is sold out and i don't know how long they're going to keep the pre-order up for the palette i recently did a video on this brand's holiday collection so we got overrated versus underrated this is the christmas eve palette from unearthly cosmetics along she's unearthly open oh, side alongside the nomad whistler snow lodge and this is actually going to be 50 percent off on black friday if i remember correctly but i feel like it is extremely similar to the christmas eve palette from um olden's eye so i figured i would shout them out because see if i cover it up it doesn't look really similar to this palette right here if you cover up the reds i feel like they look the same so i feel like this brand just gets a lot of hype and it's gotten like hot for a while a song with all the um youtuber collabs they've had so it's not that it's a bad palette because it's an amazing palette and their formula keeps getting better 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 but i just want you to remember that the snow lodge does exist and it is a gorgeous palette and it gives the same vibe that that one gives so if you weren't really able to get your hands on the old palette this one's actually cheaper and you can use my friend dion loves makeup's code dion to get 10 percent off this if you don't want to wait for the black friday sale or you can buy it during the black friday sale and still get the same kind of color story that this one has for less price so i got one more palette to show but my battery is trying to die y'all so let me go get a new battery and then i will come back for the last one okay girl okay okay so the last one i have to talk about in underrated versus overrated is the all done up palette from blend bunny cosmetics versus the unearthly cosmetics leather and lace now i'm not saying the blend bunny is overrated it is great quality y'all know blend bunny's quality is always amazing and it's great what i'm saying is i feel like this one was way more hyped up than um the unearthly cosmetics leather and lace and i feel like they have similar color stories so that's why i was just trying to make you know light of the fact that the color stories are similar but for some reason you know like one got more publicity than the other one i think it's because this is unique to um maggie's collection whereas hayden does a lot of um similar colors that are grungy like this i feel like this is um maggie stepping her toe into that life whereas hayden's like like dived in fully deep she's like a mermaid in <laughs> in these type of color stories so that's why maybe it didn't get as much hype as this one did so that's the only reason i'm talking about it. i just want to accent how they looked similar but i feel like maggie's palette just got more hyped than hayden's so that's the purpose of this part at the end it's not to say that um maggie's palette is overhyped by many means i'm happy that she came out with something like this because i feel like this is something new for her she gave us one neutral palette she's given us two or three rainbowish neonish exciting fun color story so i'm glad to see that she's going into the deeper grungier side of stuff so i'm really loving this palette and i'm actually planning on pairing this palette with this palette i just wanted to show both of them side by side for you to see that they are similar color stories to it and since you know 
Hayden's did come out first and I feel like it just didn't get a lot of attention. I want to like bring some attention to it in this video by showing you all. It's just as nice. It has a nice color story just like Hayden's does. I mean, just like Maggie's does, but Maggie's just got a little more publicity because it's not something that she necessarily normally comes out with. And I'm sure people were just intrigued and excited to see how it was going to work with her brand versus with, you know, Unearthly, since that's a lot of what Hayden does. But those are the palettes I had to talk about in this episode of Underrated versus Overrated. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are dying, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. You can comment down below and let me know if you agree with what I picked versus what I, um, and what I said about the palettes because those are just my personal opinions but I'd love to hear your opinions and see if you feel the way that I feel about the stuff but until next time like I said I hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the dimes I'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye